just a few days back i was talking to one of my friends and he said that one of his distant uncles had unfortunately recently passed away and that he had a son and a daughter and the daughter was very young and so she had to be she she couldn't earn money right she was a very small girl and the son he was 18 years of age his father was sick for the last 3 years and he spent those 3 years playing video games and now that this unfortunate calamity had fallen upon him that he was going to have to be the breadwinner now because his mother couldn't work as much and so now he was in a very very dire position because he didn't have any resources whatsoever he wasn't prepared for this and even if like this is a very very bad situation and no one should actually go through this but this is a sad reality of men in 2023 we have become so soft we have become so weak it's genuinely disgusting imagine you were in that guy's position imagine you had to now suddenly be the breadwinner what you be will you be able to do it now will you be able to do it with the current position you are in you look at the news and men have always been shown as a bad thing they are like they're angry they are very aggressive and in reality we have become that because majority of the criminals are also men because they don't know how to control their emotions they have never been taught to say no they have never been taught to control themselves they've never been taught stoicism and if you really think about it let's go back to the world war 1 and world war 2 times let's go back through history and imagine that kind of a man who was fighting in world war 1 he was not like us was he definitely not like us he had a mission he had a purpose he had to protect his country and his family from his enemies it did, it didn't like it doesn't matter like if it was like planned or whatever we won't get into that but the main thing that i'm trying to say is that he had a purpose he was very very masculine he was out there protecting his country his family from enemies and at home his wife took care of the kids because she genuinely enjoyed being around the kids and once the man came home it was a very beautiful atmosphere to live in this was the time when it was the hardest period in history right world war 1 and world war 2 the hardest periods in history were the times when the families were much much more better much much more happier people were much much more happier and now you come back to this age of 2023 this year and specifically this about the modern age of the 21st century and you look at the statistics of mental health problems all of these suicidal rates everything it's extremely extremely high and if you think about it we have become much much more different than we were supposed to be so let me explain okay think about the girls in your class they're more masculine than you are isn't that crazy the girls in your class are more focused on work on their career on their goals and you are much much more focused on relationships and and girls <laughs> isn't that crazy the dynamics have completely changed the polarities are opposite and because they are opposite both these groups are unhappy now men are unhappy women are unhappy and you can sit here and complain saying that oh well it is not my problem you know they are they are trash <laughs> but if you really really want to become a good man a successful masculine man you need to take responsibility for everything that happens in your life so if you think about it but why are women much much more masculine than men these days why do they have the need why do they need to be masculine going against their core desire their core energy levels why do they have to go against that look around you look at other men boys fat they've literally developed gynecomastia their estrogen levels are higher than the testosterone levels they they have this weak jawline their face is so soft they are so soft they are so weak they are fat of course women will be more masculine because there is no masculine man in their lives to lead the way so that they can depend on them so that they can tap into their feminine needs we can tap into our masculine needs and we both can live happily that is not the case now and this is really really saddening to think that this is what we have come to have we really come to this little soft looking low testosterone having the weakest handshake grip in all of history 
is this what we have come to no i don't agree i don't accept that this is what we have come to you were not meant to be like this look at you look at you you were not meant to be like this now answer this question very very truthfully okay so very very important question answer this very very truthful truthfully if your ancestors looked down upon you right now would they be saying that i'm glad this is the person carrying my bloodline will they be glad that i am so glad that you are carrying my bloodline will they say that no no they won't they'll probably say why is this guy doing this thing why is this guy acting like this he's carrying my bloodline and he's still acting in such a degenerate way wanting to play video games did you know this you go back 20 30 even 100 years ago i imagine like you are around 20ish maybe you are 16 to 20ish right you are about that age group let me tell you 100 years ago by the time you are probably 20 you would have a family that means you would have to take care of your wife your kids maybe your pets your house everything so let's say you're my age let's say you're 16 okay in what four years you have got four years if you were 100 years ago living you had four years to create a family so let me just give you an example okay imagine in the next five years you have to support an entire family of yours an entire family that means you have to provide for them you have, you have to protect them and you have to make sure their needs are fulfilled do you now suddenly get that sense of responsibility on you do you suddenly feel like Oh my god. Why am I doing this? Just imagine this for a second, right? Imagine you put your put yourself in that position. Imagine in 5 years you're going to have a family and just think about it. Think about the actions you've done throughout today. Think about it. Do they actually benefit you? Imagine do those actions actually help you provide for your family in the next 5 years? I'm sure it is a no. and now even if you didn't feel that sense of responsibility let me just give another controversial lesson so this is a very very controversial lesson from the book the way of the superior man and it goes like to live as if your father were dead that means to act in a way so imagine this imagine you wake up tomorrow and you act as if your father were dead that means it is not like you just ignore him he comes you don't ignore him but you act in a way if he's not around what happens now suddenly you start to understand that the actions you're doing don't actually benefit you in any way possible you suddenly realize that majority of the actions are useless you suddenly value your time much much more because now you have that responsibility on your shoulders because you're supposed to lead the way think about it just close your eyes for a moment pause this video close your eyes and really ask yourself ki let's imagine my father was not around today do you feel that sense of urgency because i do i feel that sense of urgency inside me if you do feel that sense of responsibility and anxiety that means you have tapped into your true masculine core and that is what we need to do but that is what you need to do because if you look around you there is a huge huge war on masculinity and it has been vilified to be masculine and i'm telling you it is not the right way i'm telling you you need to tap into this masculine desire because honestly it is very very disgusting and very very hedonist to think that you sitting there want to enjoy playing video games and want to take away the fun and the joy from the life of other women imagine a mother with a child a small child have you seen her face whenever the child does something her face lights up like a little girl her light, her face literally lights up she's so much more happy so much more present and now you are telling me that you want to play some video games and so that is why you'll take away happiness from this mother is that what you are saying i should do is that what you want to do think about it do you really want to take away your happiness the fun the happiness and fulfillment that a woman gets because you want to enjoy life because you want to watch a movie I've made this video before as well like my last video you can go into the comments and see all these nerds who got really really aggressive and attacked because I just said that watching a movie is useless especially the Spider-Man movie they got offended so much you can see all these nerds defending them so oh, but I want to have fun are you seriously telling me you want to have fun and so you'll be ready to sacrifice the happiness and fulfillment of a woman of your woman your potential future woman 
If your answer is no, you don't want to do that because that is extremely selfish and hedonistic to think, then that is the correct thing you're thinking because we cannot let other men put shame on us. Yes, no one is going to listen to my message and everyone's going to agree. But if you do agree with me, we cannot let other men put shame on us. And so if you could take one big lesson from this video, if you could take one most important message from this video is to start your own self-improvement journey. Because if you really, really want to be successful, if you really want to make others around you happy, if you want to fix society, you and me have the power to fix the current society we live in. We both know it is trash. You and me have the power to do it. I've made a video before on how to change your life in the next six months. So you can do that in the next six months and become a completely different person by the end of this year. And also spread this message to every single video gamer, every single fapper, every single beta male that you know. Because we need to spread this message. We need to create this revolution. You and me are going to create this revolution. If you like this video, scroll down and subscribe. Don't sacrifice your future self for the pleasure today. Peace.